don't know whether you would have bet at the start of the season on Tottenham coming here lower in the table than uh, their hosts. And that's the way it's worked out. Boulder did some good work there, and it's then tidied up by Steve Crick. Mark Reed waving men forward, and then plays the ball into no man's land. Eburn gets a foot in, retrieving the ball that he'd lost himself anyway. Williams with the shot, and Mims, his unhappy start to the season, continuing. Once that kind of uncertainty gets into a goalkeeper, it's terribly hard to get the confidence back. And he's across and body down, but hands not really in the right place. Saves it from going for the corner. Williams with two to beat. Mitchell Thomas had a couple of goes at him. Mackenzie. Andy Peake! Well, he'll be pleased with that. His first goal in two years at Charlton. Got a deflection, but he struck it well. for Waddle, but not a very good pass. And now Mortimer in the clear. Oh dear, he should have done better than that. Doesn't he know it? Tottenham all drawn across to one side, leaving Paul Mortimer free, and Bobby Mims very relieved. touch Michael Bennett oh and a good stretch there by Lieber Harry Venables distinctly disenchanted by what he's seen so far no kicks given Benny Samways takes it quickly and Waddle is off in that long loping stride and hits a good pass too for Paul Stewart. And the little flick from Waddle was just wide. That's Tottenham's best move of the game so far. Good cross from Stewart. Waddle had kept on running, just glanced the header too far wide. Shirt left. And that's gone all the way through from Thomas. And that's a penalty. Paul Stewart brought down. And there will be no second thoughts about that. Joe Worrell didn't think twice. And I don't think many referees would. Bob Boulder stretched out a hand. And Terry Fennick, who has already scored three goals this season, one of them from the spot, gets a chance to make it four. And does one all. Good penalty. I think Bolden knew where to go, couldn't get there quickly enough. Clumsy, but not malicious. Good control. Gascoigne beaten on the line. And Andy Jones has hit one in on the angle. Well, that's more like the form that persuaded Charlton to pay money for him from Port Vale, where he scored a lot of goals. Hasn't done so well in the first division, but judge that one beautifully. 65 minutes gone, 2-1. Shirtliff. Crossed by Michael Bennett. 
wide by Carl Lieber. That's going. Nicely weighted long ball. Paul Walsh is in the middle. Beaten in the air though. Waddle got a foot in. Turns it wide for Thomas. Waddle again. Walsh. Shirt left behind him. And into the empty net from Paul Allen. Simplicity itself. His first of the season. And it's now two all. Waddle had been involved in this a couple of times. Walsh shields the ball cleverly from Shirtliff, hooks it over equally cleverly. And Paul Allen had time to put it in unchallenged. Mackenzie. Humphrey. Williams, second attempt, Mims blocked it. And Fennick clears to Thomas. And the moment passes. Real danger there. But it looks as though this miss will mean that Charlton still haven't a home win this season and Tottenham will have drawn five of their seven games.